Hi everyone, let's go over my bullish and bearish elite wave scenarios on Bitcoin, starting with the bearish scenario where we are looking for a three wave structure to the upside in an ABC zigzag, which is a five wave structure in A, a three wave in B, and another a five wave impulsive structure to the upside in a wave C. The most common target for your wave C is the blue box here on the chart between the 1 and the 1.236, a trend based FIB extension taken from the start to the end of A to the end of wave B, giving you a target between 65.4k and 67.4k. Inside wave C, we then want to count an impulsive structure, a five wave move, one, two, three, four, five. Now there is at least a chance that this high over here is the end of a wave of five. Inside wave four, we then count a three wave leg in a wave W. Then over here, we have a wave X and then finally a zigzag structure in a wave Y. So a, a double combo inside wave four. The common target for wave four is also hit the 0 0.236 to the 0 0.5. As you can see over here, nicely respected. The invalidation for this scenario is not touched, but the target area for your wave five being the white box over here has been touched. So the target area for C is not touched, but at least the target area for five is touched. So it starts to open the possibility of at least thinking about the end of a wave five and therefore the end of your wave C and a bigger move to the downside. However, what is important is that if this is the end of your wave four and this is a wave five to the upside, this wave five has to be an impulsive structure, meaning this move from this low to the upside has to be either an impulse, one, two, three, four, five wave structure, or an ending diagonal, one, two, three, four, five wave structure. If we then look at this structure in more detail, then you can see it's actually quite difficult to count this as an impulsive structure to finish your wave five at the high over here. We don't have a clear five wave impulsive structure, one, two, three, four, five, and if it is a diagonal, it's an unfinished diagonal. One, two, three, four, five. Besides, this would be an expanding diagonal because your wave four is a longer in price than your wave two, which is very rare, never preferred unless all of the other stuff fails. Now this therefore opens the door for a corrective structure where your wave four is not yet finished and we can still continue this range for a little bit longer. Price also rejected at the 1.236 to the 1.38 Fibonacci, taken from the start over here to the end of this first then sideways structure. 64.2, 64.5k. It is a common target for, for example, a wave B in a flat structure, for a wave A, B, C, swipe the lows, hit support, and then move towards the upside. This white box here is between 61.8k and 62.2k, but by all means, even unrelated to what corrective structure you're looking for, just because of the local move to the upside here at the moment, looking a three way V, not five way V, or an unfinished expanding diagonal, or corrective, by all means, it all results to price probably still taking out that low as the higher probability scenario. The bullish scenario on the chart is an impulse to the upside, where we then have a triple one two one two one two one two and then we look for a big move to the upside in a wave three now there is a potential for a double one two one two one two but that then again means that this has to be a finished five wave structure meaning this latest move up has to be counted as a five waiver difficult so therefore not the greatest probabilities and that is why I labeled this as a multi one two now what lowers the probabilities however for this scenario is that your latest wave one which is your lowest degree wave one is longer here than your blue wave one which is a higher degree wave one now it's not an invalidation it just impacts the probabilities ever so slightly and your white two here being the lowest degree wave two out of green blue and white is three times longer in time compared to your blue wave two here which also impacts the probabilities negatively again not an invalidation but it's something we have to keep in mind now with regards to counting this a wave one two we actually need price to move to the downside preferably because a minimum target for your wave two would be the 3a2 here taken from the low to the high of your one 
which isn't touched. And your most common target for a wave two is the 05 to the 786, 61.5, 60.1, which also is not touched. If we then look at the CVD divergences, then locally on the 15 minute time frame, there is actually not much happening. This is the latest move to the downside from a CVD perspective. It now only is interesting to look at the structures over here and look at new CVD divergences. But we have a little bit of bearish CVD, a little bit of bullish CVD. There's really nothing going on. It's way too early to analyze this structure. What we are looking for is eventually market structure to the up or the downside with consistent bullish or bearish CVD but so far we just have a single move down and we can't really analyze that from a CVD perspective but what we can at least think of is that we have almost played out this bigger four hour CVD divergence so here you can see the green line on my chart, a bullish CVD with the target being 65. Initially, not too interesting as price came down, but as price then moved towards the upside here with consistent CVD divergences, it also starts to slowly increase the potential of this bullish CVD divergence with the target being 65K. Now, all of the local CVD divergences here have continuously played out, and now we just have to wait for a little bit of new structure and new CVD the divergences locally so if we then look at the probabilities of the different scenarios then on the four hour time frame the probabilities are highest for a zigzag compared to a multi one two and on the one hour time frame the probabilities at the moment are higher to still take out that high compared to a continuation to the downside and that is mainly because the move up to create the high looks corrective it looks three wavy so that would increase the probabilities to still take it once more now the probabilities previously were higher to take out this high over here we now took the high and need to observe this local reaction so a little bit of new fresh price action that still has to be printed it is at the moment very very early still to analyze that move to the downside of course we should be aware that price took the high and at least hit the five target area to finish a potential zigzag the local price action after the high will give us all the information we need but it is still very early to analyze this bit of a price action i hope that this video was helpful or valuable to you please check out the brand new complete elliott waves guide playlist i've made that shows you all you need to know about elliott waves thanks for watching and subscribing and i like to see you at the next one. Bye-bye.